Yo, Elliot, man. Aubrey it's, Graham? Aubrey Graham time? Okay, so it's, a, it's 11 <laughs> o'clock. We're one of the rare people that we have, a, we have, we can speak to Aubrey at times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, Yo, Drake. It's, it, it's, a, it's 11 p.m. The driving force in hip-hop culture, let's just say what it is. He's the number one guy. He's been the number one guy. This could be a Drake stand podcast because we love Cole, we love Kendrick, but me and Big Ack agree on one point. Drake's the guy. Drake's on, been man. the guy. My God. For over a decade. <laughs> My guy, come you know, on. It's unprecedented in hip hop. It's Drake. Never been, I'm it's never been done. to you, okay? He hasn't retired. He's still omnipresent. I didn't love the, the dance shit. I didn't love Never Wait, Mind. But hold on, though. <laughs> I just want to go back. I just want to go back. He's the guy. To, he's still I, the fucking guy. And I want to give you your credit, but I, I want to lay this out perfectly. All right. I'll let you do your show. My best. <laughs> I, I post late on, like, obviously it's a weekend. Rolling Loud is going on. Which, oh, by the boy. way, I actually am mad I missed. I went to the last Rolling Loud Miami. And, by the way, I see you there putting it work. And I'm like, yo, this nigga's putting boots to ground. <laughs> I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo. I started looking up. I'm like, which ironically, well, so much of Drake lines happened to be like like the caption of my life. But it was like, it was like, yo, it's say I'm f- falling off. Ooh, I needed that. I'm like, yo, the moment you saw that list, like you've been going crazy. And I'm like, yo, this guy, <laughs> this guy's not rolling loud. <laughs> okay, cool. I see the clip with you and Trippy. Yeah. I'm like, all right, bet. I got to post this. I post it the center. You post it or your team? I post it. You post it well, that no, one. Yeah, I, I, I prove everything on my page. Okay, gotcha. Everything. Yeah. So... Oh, like somebody submitted it Yeah of course post. Okay so then Everyone hits me Drake responded And I'm thinking like Like Drake is probably Responding to something With Trippy Of course Or maybe something With the question And I just It felt like Drake Wanted to get one off at you Drake was like <laughs> Yo LOL Like do you remember That exact comment uh, And where were you When you seen it I was at, I was on the set Of Rolling Loud uh, At the uh at the set, setup we had, we were doing interviews and shit. So I was sitting there, I look at my phone, and it's just blowing up. Everybody's blowing up, hit my phone. And that's why, that's why I got tweeted something like, okay, cool. Yeah, you, you know, did, the, you Something did. real corny. And I slammed my phone down. I was just like, yo, he's going in on me. Like, he really went in on me. Like, oh, shit. Like, on yo, the Axe page. On the biggest platform, Big Axe page. I was like, oh, shit. He called, you doing an interview he with Trippie. He said, Tentos, Tentos, Wilson. Yo, yo, he's like, yo, he's doing Yes Jules run-up interviews. Yeah, that was, yes, yeah, Jules didn't love that, but she she thought it was funny. <laughs> but, but, but I was Shout like. Yes Jules. <laughs> so I started thinking about that And I was like Okay Is there a layer to peel back And I guess this is where Really you gotta give me the context Cause I don't get oh, it I, I'm wondering if he's saying Yo You, you criticized my interviews recently But yeah. I'm watching you go backwards I guess that's what was, Maybe that's what he's saying Because I guess he's like Yo you've interviewed Jay-Z and Drake After that point Like for example Somebody gave me the Like you know uh, And salute to my guy Adam22 They're like yo The difference between Your platform and his platform He'll just get it out anybody on his shit. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And at this point, I do have to curate it a bit because I've been associated with some bigger acts, which yep. now when people look at me, they want to be like, oh, he's sitting with the guy. Not who the hell is this? Mm-hmm. So no, and, and now granted, that's not what Trippy read it, because Trippy is a huge fucking yeah. artist. But you're the only guy that I know that I've interviewed like some of the like multiple interviews with Drake. Jay, like yep. you're kind of the, the 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 standard of yo. When I'm talking to you, this is like the like yeah. We just did one with us, with Sauce Walker, and it's like he's like this is important to be like this. like he's sitting with us and like you know he's like he's focused and like he gave us a great interview like an hour and a half like be that standard. I think that Drake was just. He was mad that, I, I, and again, I apologized to him. And, you know, hip-hop fronts on apologies. Like, I remember when uh, Jay apologized about the Nas shit. Yeah, yeah. Everybody clowned him. So people clown people in hip-hop if they apologize. I apologize to Drake because we have a great rapport. He's been respectful to me. He's given me more interviews than anybody. I've had, wait, wait, hold on, I've hold had six interviews with him. Wait, before, before you apologize, we got to double down a little bit. Okay. Because paint the picture first? You, you know, want to well, paint the picture because... When I first seen what you had said yep. that seemingly was responded to, even though you responded by the trippy interview, yep. um, I felt I had said something kind of similar recently. I was like, hey, listen. Oh, yes. Let's and, go to that bigger point. The bigger point is hip hop has a pattern of culture where we want validation from outside our culture. Exactly. It's like salt and pepper, Rolling Stone cover, and you try to get a vibe cover at the same time. And, you know, it's disrespectful to us. If I'm doing 8 million 50 cent covers, but when it's time for 50 cent versus Kanye, I can't get that cover. Rolling Stone gets that cover. Yeah. 
I'm a, that's a frustrating day at the office for me. That is, so that, I always hold the culture accountable. Like you did. We hold our heroes accountable because it's like, you want that outside look. You want to sit with ESPN. You want to see what, is it? what about our, our platforms, our stage. So, yes, it comes from that place. I've, but I've had those conversations with like a Jay at times, and we've, we've had our fallouts about it. And like, why are you doing that? Why aren't you doing this thing? Or what, why don't you do something for the culture? Like this side of things also. So I've always been that person behind the scenes, but Drake and I have built something to the point where I should have at least let him know my feelings before I aired it out to the public. I should have owed him that respect. I would have did with Jay. And I owe him that. So that's why I was wrong. No, no, I, I think it's the wordage. The wordage. The steamy pile of mid. Yo, like, you yeah, said yeah. steamy And I deleted that one. So that one's mid. missing still. But the Yachty one. The, and Yachty forgave me. Shout out Yachty. And I also didn't like that either. Because like, you know, off your everyday struggle shit. Like Yachty I had his battles with like mm -hmm. not acceptance by hip hop and blah, blah, blah. So I didn't want to be that old guy who's hating on Lil Yachty and telling him. Because I think he's dope. That, that, some of his shit this year is some of the best hip hop out. I like the experimental shit he did. The rock the joint he did. Uh, what's the strike strike record? That strike record is like well, one of my favorite also, singles of the year. I, I think not really spoken about. I think Drake and Yachty, I think they have a musical rapport. They rare. do. You hear it. You hear it on the albums. Yeah, you hear it on the, uh, the and, Savage album. And, and I think that's why. Like for me, I was like, okay, that's Drake and Yachty. I did look at that the Drake and that that girl uh, Bobby, which by the way I end up watching. Like it's, it's actually very entertaining. I heard it's good. I heard it's, it's good. Pretty entertaining, but. When, when I initially said it, and I'm going to go back to um, Young Thug saying something. Mm -hmm. Young Thug said something on The Breakfast Club years ago. I was watching it. I don't know why I watch old Young Thug interviews, especially that last no, one. He was so clear The interviews are great. He was so clear void. And, and salute to him. You know, hopefully he gets out soon. He says, he, he was basically saying that Drake is like almost like all these new artists OG because he's the only one doing stuff. And, and I wonder if him responding to you came from that. Because I'm going to be honest with you, as much as you could single out Drake there, I remember um, J. Cole. J. Cole was just doing something with, with the guy from the sports I said channel. the ESPN thing, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. The Golden State, and, or, or Golden State or, or Warriors, a former GM. Yeah, and, and I was confused. I think Drake probably feels like he does more than everybody else, but he still gets the most flack for it. Because I'm going to be honest with you, whether it's for releasing music or even doing these interviews, I haven't heard Kendrick speak in a while. I haven't heard Cole speak in a mm -hmm. while. Drake at least, you know what I mean, tries to, like, as much as, you know, compared to the others, he does more. That's true. And I, I think he probably was like, damn, I still fucking do more than the other guys that they would normally lump me with. And then I still get the fucking blame. But I think I was also triggered. Remember he did the, when he did the concert, he said, uh, you know, he's not like those other guys that go away. Like, I stay here. Like, oh, I don't go anywhere. So my thing is, like, well, then defend it. Like, every once in a while. Because he's promised all these people interviews behind the scenes. He's promised drink champs. He's promised. I I, I know he's promised drink champs and Joe Buttons and Gilly Wallows. Like, yeah, Joe told me that. He's, 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 promised. he's promised all that. And he doesn't ever deliver. He curves us. Like, so it's like, okay. But here's the How thing. How do you feel about that? By the way, I've I never. I don't love it. That's why I said something. Yeah, but, I've I, never but it was asked. wrong for me to say it the way I said it and without telling him first. And I was wrong for that. So I, I accept what comes with it. But, like, that was crazy to me that, like, yeah, I just felt like it was gonna die from the apology, but then he brought it back up to the public with you. So now I got motherfucking kids coming up to be either against me or pro me, like oh, Elliot, no. fuck Drake. Da, da, yo, da, da. Like, no, nah, man, it's not, it's not fuck Drake, man. Yo. Come on. It's yo. dumb. And it, that shows how big he is. Like, it's just insane. When Drake says something about you, it's insane. You almost have to get 30 times more upset because. The the blowback Everyone's that comes reaction, with it, everybody's yeah. on your ass. And I don't even I didn't even know your culture where it's like all these young content creators create their YouTube page and they take a picture of you, picture of me, picture of Drake, 